Montenegro, tucked away in the Balkans, is a little treasure with breathtaking landscapes and historical stories. It features high mountains, beautiful beaches, and charming historic villages. Consider the Bay of Kotor with its old fortifications narrating stories or the vast Dormitor Park where nature reigns supreme. Montenegro has the power to make you grin whether you're ready for a walk or a day at the beach. So buckle up, because in today's movie, we'll look at 70 fascinating facts about Montenegro. 1. Montenegro is a country in southeastern Europe. It is part of the Balkan area and is located on the Adriatic Sea. The nation is bounded on the northeast by Serbia, on the north and west by Herzegovina and Bosnia, on the east by Kosovo, on the southwest by Croatia, and on the southeast by Albania. 2. Montenegro is named from the dark mountain woods that blanket the country. The name is made up of two words, Monte and Negro, Black Mountain, and it dates back to the 15th century. 3. Cerno Gisero, often known as Black Lake, is located in the municipality of Abjak in northern Montenegro. It is a glacier lake on Mount Dormitor, about 1,400 meters above sea level, and just 3 kilometers from the village of Ablajak. 4. According to the data, Montenegrin 18-year-old men are presently the tallest in the world, 182.9 centimeters, nearly 6 feet, outgrowing their Dutch counterparts, 182.4 centimeters, 5.98 feet, by half a centimeter, approximately a quarter inch. 5. The Pink Panthers are a mafia group in Montenegro who are responsible for some of the most brazen thefts in criminal history. They are known for successfully pulling off incredible heists at some of the biggest jewelry stores in the world. Just one heist at Harry Winston Jewelers in Paris netted them an incredible $100 million. They've robbed 120 stores in 20 countries in just six years and are known for their criminal genius. Although it's not known exactly how many gang members are in the Pink Panthers, they mostly come from Serbia, Montenegro, and Croatia, and it's thought that around half come from Montenegro. 6. It is interesting that the most important leader in the country's history was also a highly regarded poet. Peter II Petrovin Njego, known simply as Njego, was the man who introduced modernism to Montenegro in the 19th century, all while writing the region's most famous epic poem. Gorski Vijanak, The Mountain Wreath, is a large epic written in Satinji that focuses on the coming together, or lack thereof, of Montenegro's different tribes. 7. River Gurdic is a river without a riverbed, making it one of the strangest rivers in the world. It is situated on the southern side of Kotor's old town. Rainy days cause it to boil from the cave's mouth and push the water back into the cave. As a result, the river vanishes in the Lovsen abysses throughout the summer and seawater fills the void once more. 8. Montenegro is one of the newest countries in the world, having declared its independence from Serbia on 3rd June 2006. Other than Serbia, only Kosovo 2008 and South Sudan 2011 are newer. 9. In some parts of the country, families still live by a centuries-old law called Kurvna, which recognizes the right to vengeance. If a man from one family kills another, the family of the victim must respond in kind. 10. Despite the international popularity of fast food restaurants, Montenegro has managed to avoid McDonald's. Montenegro is one of the rare nations that does not have a McDonald's. 11. Ulsinj also has the Adriatic Sea's longest beach. This 13-kilometer-long sandy beach, appropriately dubbed Velika Plaza Long Beach, was also included in the New York Times 2010 list of best vacation destinations across the world. 12. Montenegro is well known as a tourism destination. Lord Byron, the famed English romantic poet, once said of the nation, At the birth of the planet, the most beautiful encounter between land and sea must have been on the Montenegrin coast. This is a monument to the country's stunning beauty, which is undoubtedly one of the key reasons why millions of people go there. 13. Many of today's generations might recognize Montenegro's capital city, Podgorica, as Titograd, since that was the city's name for over 50 years, from 1946 to 1992, in honor of the scandalously famous communist leader, Joseph Briz Tito. Fortunately, as the communist bloc fell apart, it regained its original name, which was first mentioned in the 14th century and has since weathered virtually any number of invasions. 14. Podgorica is the capital and largest city of the country. 
It covers a total area of 55.6 square miles. The city hosts beautiful places like Maraca River and Saborni Hram Hristovag Verskinja. 15. Podgorica is famed not only for its sun and booming coffee culture, but also for its astonishing number of individually themed churches, including one dedicated to brutalism lovers. 16. A golden lion features proudly on the country's flag. The flag is based on the one used during the King Nicola I's reign, which lasted from 1910 until 1918. 17. Montenegro's Tara, Drina River, is well known for its pure water. The overall length is 144 kilometers, 110 kilometers of which are in Montenegro and the remaining 34 kilometers in Bosnia and Herzegovina. It also constitutes the boundary between the two nations in various points. 18. Approximately 60% of the nation lies above 1,000 meters above sea level, with the highest peak, Bobotov Kuk in the Dormator Mountains, standing at 2,522 meters. 19. In terms of volume, the Tara River Canyon, which straddles Montenegro in Bosnia and Herzegovina, is Europe's biggest. The most dramatic section is a deep inverted triangle among the mountains, inaccessible except by rafters, for whom this is heaven. For those who prefer to stay dry, finding the best viewpoints takes some exploration, though a bridge crossing 500 feet above the foaming water helps. 20. The City of the Sun and the Town of 1001 Steps are two popular nicknames for Herceg Novi, another stunningly gorgeous seaside town in Montenegro. The first alludes to the town's bright and sunny tropical environment, which is responsible for the town's vast diversity of tropical flowers, particularly mimosas. The second name comes from the old town of Herceg Novi, which has multiple flights of stairs that connect various structures and strongholds from the 14th to the 16th century. 21. The country's population is diversified. Montenegrins make up roughly 45% of the population, with the rest made up of Serbs, Bosniaks, Albanians, Muslims, and Croats. 22. Mausoleum of Peter II Petrova Konjegos, officially the highest mausoleum in the world, is located some 13 kilometers away from the historic city of Setinji. Sitting at a height of 1,660 meters on the Jezerski Peak, this mystic site offers a stunning view of the surrounding Lovsen Mountains. The vault of the mausoleum is decorated with 18 kilograms of gold, and the two stone caryatids found on the mausoleum lobby are believed to be those of Njego's mother and daughter. 23. Sveti Stefan, a lovely tiny walled island a few miles south of Budva, was originally home to roughly 400 people. Emigration took its toll in the early part of the 20th century, reducing the population to roughly 20 by 1954. It was converted into a luxury hotel by communist officials. It was a playground for the affluent and famous in the 1970s, with guests like Orson Welles, Elizabeth Taylor, Sophia Loren, Marilyn Monroe, and Princess Margaret signing the guestbook. The Yugoslav Wars took it off the tourist map, but in 2007, the hotel was purchased by the swanky Amman Resorts chain, and it is once again welcoming the great and the good. 24. For a lot of heritage in a relatively small area, it is difficult to beat Montenegro. Within its 13,812 kilometers squared, there are four World Heritage Sites, Natural and Cultural Historical Area of Kotor, Dormator National Park, Stetschek Medieval Cemeteries, three sites within the multinational nomination, Greek Cemetery in Bari Zugika and Zablak, as well as the Greek Cemetery in Pluzin, and Venetian fortifications from the 16th to the 17th century, Kotor Fortress within the multinational nomination. 25. After gaining independence, Montenegro also gained the .me domain. What could be more appealing to the social media generation? Between 2008, when it went live, and 2010, 320,000 names were registered, including 50,000 on the first day, making it the fastest-selling top-level domain ever. 26. In Montenegro, the official money is the euro, but the country introduced them without the consent and knowledge of the European Central Bank. 27. River Bojana in some places flows below sea level, and when the strong wind rises, the water from the sea falls back into the river. Montenegrins call it the only river on the planet that can flow in two directions. 28. Montenegro is known for its wines. The local variety is Vranek, and it seems everyone with a house and some land in the rural areas have their own vineyard. Another well-known and loved wine is Kristash. 
29. The Sahara Desert brings sand greetings to the whole Balkan Peninsula on a regular basis, from late January to mid-March. Sandstorms may be extremely dangerous, with little visibility. The air temperature rises dramatically during such days, and the wind delivers high waves of 2 to 4 meters. The air's clarity declines, and the sky turns reddish-gray over many days. This sort of weather usually lasts a day or two before dissipating. Being outside during this time, on the other hand, is not the ideal experience. If you happen to be traveling along the Montenegrin coast during a sandstorm, you may simply head interior and visit other regions of the nation. They'll notice breezes, but not as much sand in the air. 30. Most Montenegrins speak in a variety of Serbo-Croatian that is also spoken throughout Croatia, Serbia, and Bosnia. Some of the basic phrases that you'd want to know while in Montenegro are Bok for hello, Dobro jutro for good morning, and Havala for thank you. 31. In 1979, Montenegro was devastated by an earthquake of extreme magnitude, destroying part of Budva's old town and the seaside region, and displacing over 100,000 people. 32. Podgorica, the capital city, may be one of the hottest towns in Europe during the summer, but it may also be one of the wettest, with rains even in the summer. Climb over 2,000 meters, however, and the Dineric Mountains exhibit extremely different climatic weather patterns. Expect heavy rain around the region and on the mountains. Temperatures in the mountains hover around 25 degrees Celsius. 33. Only coffee is consumed in restaurants in Montenegro. Tea isn't common here. Even at the grocery, classic black tea is difficult to find. Only hibiscus, mint, and chamomile tea may be purchased in bags. If you desire tea in a restaurant, the server can say, you will drink tea at home, but we only have coffee. 34. The Ostrog Monastery, located above the Jelapavjik Valley, is one of the most visited Christian sites. St. Basil founded it in the 17th century, and it is carved in rocks. 35. The luxurious Montenegro port, located in Tivat in the Kotor Bay area, opened in 2012 and can handle over 400 boats, including the world's largest and most famous private superyachts. As a result, Porto Montenegro is one of the few ports with the capacity, amenities, and facilities to accommodate large vessels. It's also a reasonably priced luxury marina when compared to other European Mediterranean nations. 36. Raspberries make up a sizable amount of Montenegro's agricultural output. The region around the town of Barane is where most raspberries grow, given its climate and soil conditions are perfect for raspberries' growth. It is the second largest producer of raspberries in the world. 37. The Biogradska Gora National Park has one of Europe's last virgin forests. The woods covers an area of 54 kilometers squared and is home to a wide variety of vegetation, including exciting species like the Balkan lynx and the earthy colored bear. Due to its hiking, camping, and wildlife watching opportunities, the park is a popular destination for nature lovers. 38. Montenegro has a rich cultural legacy, which is reflected in the various festivals and festivities held throughout the nation. Two of the most well-known examples are the Kotor Carnival, which takes place every February and incorporates colorful parades and street entertainment, and the Mimosa Festival, which commemorates the start of spring with music, dancing, and the planting of mimosa trees. Other events include the Dormitor Ring, a trailblazing bicycle race in the breathtaking Dormitor Public Park, and the Lake Fest, a live event on the beaches of Lake Krupak. 39. Among the most popular meals are Njegi Prut, a cured ham eaten with cheese and olives after being matured for up to a year, and Savapi, grilled pork sausages served with bread and onions. 40. The Montenegrin Alcatraz is named after the shrubbery island in Skadar Lake, where King Nikola utilized the remnants of the Turkish castle as a jail for political opponents and non-swimmers. 41. During the reign of King Nikola, the first intercity bus service in Europe was established between the Montenegrin cities of Podgorica and Setinje. 42. Montenegrins commemorate the national holiday, also known as Statehood Day, on July 13th. They mark this day to remember the day on July 13, 1878, when the Berlin Congress recognized Montenegro as the world's 27th sovereign state. 43. Almost all Montenegrin coastal towns have well-preserved old towns filled with wonderful histories, tales, and many antiquity objects and treasures. And arguably, the most renowned of these historic settlements is the historic town of Bar. 
The paintings, bas reliefs, and crumbling walls of the several strongholds make a tour around the old town a fascinating, almost fairy tale like experience. You may visit the town's archaeological museum and you'll get to have a look at extraordinarily beautiful Murano glass ceramic vessels from 6 to 8 centuries BC or mosaic fragments dating back to the 5th to 6th century AD. 44. The village of Cravici in southwestern Montenegro is the wettest inhabited place in the continent of Europe. It receives 180 plus inches of rainfall each year. Every season, except summer, is practically a rainy season in this village. In summer, especially the month of August, it can become so dry that forest fires often break out. Among the European cities, the Montenegrin capital of Podgorica is the wettest one, receiving over 64 inches of annual rainfall, an interesting Montenegro fact. 45. An olive tree known as Stara Maslina is thought to have thrived for more than two millennia. It is located in the tiny town of Tamba, which is Montenegro's Bar region. This tree, which has been fully burned on one side, is one of the oldest of its kind on the planet. A fascinating fact about Montenegro is that the bar area contains at least 10,000 additional millennium-old olive trees. There is perhaps no other spot on the planet with so many senior olive trees. 46. The Lipa Cavern is a breathtaking daily marvel located in the heart of Montenegro. It has a surface area of more than 800 meters squared and houses one of the largest underground lakes in the world. Guests can investigate the cavern's organization of passages and chambers, enlightened by vivid lights and loaded with intriguing stone arrangements. Spaghetti, popcorn, crocodile, and curtain forms are among the most notable stalactites. Totem and Graal formations are two of the most notable stalagmites. 47. More than 70% of the country's beaches have been given the prestigious blue flag for their cleanliness and environmental management. The crystal clear waters also have a lot of marine life, including dolphins, turtles, and a wide range of fish. The most popular beaches are Mogren Beach, Jazz Beach, and Bacici Beach. 48. Montenegro's rich cultural heritage is reflected in its traditional music. Gusel, a one-stringed instrument played with a bow that is one of the most unusual forms of conventional singing, is accompanied by epic poems and songs. The gusel is frequently played at important cultural events and celebrations because it is regarded as a symbol of Montenegrin's national identity. 49. Montenegro has 117 of them along 293 kilometers of coastline. There are rocky ones, sandy ones, tiny hidden ones, and glorious pink pebble ones. The pink sand beaches of Sveti Stefan are a great tourist attraction here. 50. Montenegrins are known to be very relaxed. In that effort, they have their own set of commandments to live by. Among them are, love thy bed as you love thyself, if you see someone resting, help him, and if you have the urge to work, sit down, wait, and you'll see it will pass. 51. One of KOTOR's most famous landmarks, St. Trifon's Cathedral, is one of only two Roman Catholic cathedrals in Montenegro, and St. Trifon is the protector of KOTOR. The current cathedral was built on the site of a church built in 809, where St. Trifon's severed head was kept after being brought from Istanbul. What's not widely known is that the saint's remains were on their way to Dubrovnik, but were intercepted in KOTOR, and have been there ever since. 52. Way back in 1988, before Brad Pitt was a household name, he started his movie career in Montenegro. The Dark Side of the Sun was Pitt's debut as leading man in a movie and was filmed in KOTOR. He was paid a grand total of $1,523 for seven weeks of work, but the country must have made an impression because he was back in 2010 saying he wanted to show Montenegro to then-wife Angelina Jolie. 53. Montenegro is the only country in the world where there are two altar churches where both Orthodox and Catholic services are held simultaneously. Such churches in our time are on the territory of Sutomor. 53. Petty crime in Montenegro is exceedingly low, for example burglary, carjacking, criminal damage and so on. So much so that individuals are usually content to leave their houses and automobiles unlocked and to dress casually wherever they go. According to Montenegro crime statistics, crime rates are quite low, and domestic inhabitants, tourists, and foreigners residing in Montenegro typically feel safe on a daily basis. 
The Institute for Economics and Peace rated Montenegro 48th out of 163 nations in the 2022 Global Peace Index study, considering it a country with a high condition of peace. 55. The Illyrians, one of the oldest civilizations in Europe, were the first inhabitants of Montenegro. They left behind numerous archaeological sites, including the well-preserved Gradina Fortress, which offers a glimpse into the life of these ancient people. 56. One of the main attractions in Gradina is the medieval fortress, perched on a hill. The fortress, also known as Gradina Castle, was built in the 14th century and served as a military fortress during the Ottoman Empire. Today, the fortress is open to the public and offers breathtaking views of the surrounding countryside. Visitors can also explore the castle's many rooms and learn more about its history through the exhibits on display. 57. Another popular attraction in Gradina is the Church of St. George, a beautiful Orthodox church dating from the 18th century. The church is known for its ornate frescoes and beautiful iconography. 58. The historical past of Gradina makes it an interesting place for travelers. Danilvovgrad was established with the intention of becoming Montenegro's capital. King Nicola I established the groundwork for this planned metropolis in 1870. 59. Sveti Stefan, a lovely tiny walled island a few miles south of Budva, was originally home to roughly 400 people. Emigration took its toll in the early part of the 20th century, reducing the population to roughly 20 by 1954. It was converted into a luxury hotel by communist officials. It was a playground for the affluent and famous in the 1970s, with guests like Orson Welles, Elizabeth Taylor, Sophia Loren, Marilyn Monroe, and Princess Margaret signing the guest book. The Yugoslav Wars took it off the map, but in 2007, the hotel was purchased by the opulent Amman Resorts Group, and it is now hosting the great and the good. 60. It is not just the old town, but the whole region of Kotor is listed and protected as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The official term is the Natural and Cultural Historical Region of Kotor, which encompasses Kotor Old Town, the fortifications of Kotor, and the Inner Bay of Kotor. UNESCO played a huge part in restoring the town after the devastating earthquake in 1979 and to maintain its cultural and historical integrity today. 61. Skadar Lake is the biggest in the Balkans, with two-thirds in the Montenegro and the rest in Albania. The freshwater lake is home to approximately 270 bird species, many of which are migratory. Other notable species include herons, ibises, egrets, falcons, storks, and pygmy cormorants, in addition to the beautiful Dalmatian pelicans. A little farther along the shore, one will come upon the Ulsinska Salinas, a historic salt factory where one may see 40,000 birds at once. 62. When it comes to unique architectural and cultural history, the old seaside town of Ulcinj, Montenegro's southernmost town, is difficult to match. Having been ruled by a variety of monarchs over the ages, including Roman, Byzantine, Venetian, and Ottoman. 63. If you walk outside with damp hair in Montenegro, your brain will get irritated and you will catch pneumonia. In Montenegro, this is what is believed, and above all are drafts, promaja. According to a superstitious belief, they are quite harmful and can induce a variety of symptoms, such as cold, stomach troubles, and headaches. A simple draft on your bare tummy might cause your ovaries to freeze and prevent you from ever having children. 64. Montenegro has a dish which is disgusting to many, which goes by the name brodet. This dish is a seafood specialty and sometimes includes octopus as well and is prepared with white vinegar. 65. Kotor, a beautiful coastal town in Montenegro, is home to a unique museum dedicated to cats. The Kotor Cat Museum, located in the historic center of the town, is a small but fascinating collection of cat-related artifacts, photos, and memorabilia. The museum was founded by a local artist and cat lover who wanted to create a space to celebrate the special bond between humans and cats. The museum features a variety of items, including paintings and sculptures of cats, historical photos of cats, and even cat-themed jewelry and souvenirs. Visitors to the KOTOR Cat Museum can learn about the history and significance of cats in Montenegro and around the world, and admire the adorable feline-themed art and artifacts on display. Thank you for watching. Which country would you like to see next? Let us know in the comments below. If you liked our video, do give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.